We know the name of NVIDIA's next GPUs. Microsoft's finally fixing handhelds. And AMD and Intel better watch out. There is a new CPU and company in town and they got big help. Let's get in the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Thursday, November 30th, 2023. You might be wondering why we have so many Steam Decks in front I sure of us. I sure was. Actually, so it was a <laughs> reminder to me to announce it because I keep forgetting to do it. Tomorrow, we're actually gonna be giving away the one terabyte version of the new Steam Deck OLED, which is this one, because it has a matte screen, not a glossy one, and it's not the limited edition. Who's we're, Matt? We're gonna be giving this away at 1 p.m. Eastern over on our Twitch stream. You have to be in stream to do it, but this is the announcement that we're kicking off the, I forgot what I called it, December giveaway, we Give love you. Toyota-thon. Give a thong. We're not doing that. That's an HR violation, Kyler. It's the December, uh, Toyota-thon over at the UF to skip Can Twitch. Can we call it that? <laughs> no, no, we're violating a lot of trademark laws right Boy there. Boyota-thon? Because we're all boys. But we have women on our staff. Yeah, but we're boys. <laughs> 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 the December Boyotathon happening over on our Twitch stream, kicking off with giving away the one terabyte Steam Deck OLED tomorrow, 1 p.m. Be there or don't get a Steam Deck. Actually, most people who are there won't get a Steam Deck, but that's just how that works. Be there or be a bear. Oh, well, we're going to be in the future talking about NVIDIA's ah! GPUs because we now know exactly what they're talking about. You said B. <laughs> You're allergic. <laughs> we didn't know what was coming next. Right now we're on Ada Loveless. We know that the next generation is called Blackwell that should be launching sometime early next year. And then it was X. That It was a placeholder name Don't for mind it. Me. Now it's R for Rubin. <laughs> Named after Vera Rubin, who was an astronomer from the United States who worked on a lot of different stuff, especially over at the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona. They named an astronomer after a sandwich? Yes. Important people in science is who NVIDIA names their GPUs after, AMD names theirs after things that I forgot. Uh, stars, Vega, Navi, that's that's what they do it. And then Intel names it after bodies of water. Yeah. You have to have a naming convention somehow. And yeah. this is this is what we've decided upon. I kind of, I'm partial to NVIDIA's because it's a multi-billion dollar company capitalizing on the work of somebody else who was not part of their company. It's great, it's good <laughs> stuff. Whereas AMD is like ethereal and out there in space. Anyways, what's also out there in space is potentially if you, you know, win one of these Steam Deck OLEDs, you can make it run faster. The screen. Or break it. Turns out Valve was lying to us. Mm -hmm. These things don't run at 90 Hertz. They run at 120. They can. They can. <laughs> yeah, and actually the Steam Deck LCD, this one can go up to 70. You can get some overclocking. So take this with a grain of, it's not 100% tested, but there is a mod that is out there that could potentially unlock some of the extra refresh rates that you can find on your screens. So this does not work with every panel. LCD panels seem to get between 40 and 70 Hertz. The BOE OLED panels can go up to 120, but the Samsung ones have been untested and it seems like they might only do 100 to 110 and that there's like some issues with brightness and gamma saturation breaking if you try to actually do it, but it appears that there's some extra chutzpah under the hood. You also can use it in a Samsung panel. It yes. just might, yeah, it exactly. might die. Yeah, you might want to just <laughs> stick to the 90 Hertz. That might also be one of the reasons why Valve decided to go 90 Hertz because they couldn't get enough panels supplied that could run the 120 Hertz at the capacity that they wanted at the brightness of the HDR 1000 that they were going for. So they just settled on 90 Hertz, which I think it's fair, because yeah. what, what, are you gonna play Dave the Diver at 120 hertz? I'm getting vibes that long-term this could really hurt any of your Steam Decks. Oh, whatever, yeah, for sure. Whatever version you have, so maybe wait. <laughs> and also, this is a, a mod that I can't verify the security of, so. Yeah, maybe wait a little bit. But if you want to mod the PlayStation 5, I can verify the security of this one because I know these people, at least tangentially through the internet. I have a parasocial relationship with this, <laughs> this company. Two of them. Turns out that somebody decided to make their own PlayStation 5 tiny. PlayStation 5 Mini, shrinking the PS5. You can see it right there. It also charges the controllers, which is amazing. And it's significantly smaller than the PS5 and definitely smaller than the PS5 Slim. I'd argue it looks much better too. Yes, it, they <laughs> did an incredible job on this. This is actually the channel Not From Concentrate who happens to make boutique little one of a kind chassis for a bunch of different computers. They can do like one-off stuff, but then also they have had some products out there. This is a video from our channel 
two years ago where I had one of their cases. I built a little AP rig in I it. I thought the yeah. PS5 looked familiar. Yeah, yeah, not from <laughs> Concentrate. They do amazing stuff. I want you to go check out their video where they made the PS5 tiny. It's some really good stuff. Heck yeah. And I want you to heck yeah yourself on over to Reese. Whoa, whoa. You, you, get out of here. Go, go to him. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to Yifty Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet, and hey, deals. Today we're starting off with the Dark Rock PX4 CPU air cooler, going for only $17.99 with the coupon applied, making it $12 off. But then next we have the NZXT Function Mini TKL Mechanical Keyboard for only $49.99, making it $50 off for a hot swappable mechanical keyboard. But then we also have this Team Group T4 Z540 Gen 5 NVMe M.2 SSD, with the 1TB version going for only $100.49 with the coupon applied, making it $49.99. 50 cents off. But then as a nice little bonus, that Asus ROG Ally deal that we had earlier for the Z1 variant is now a further $50 off, going for only $399.99, making it $200 off now. And with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm hand you off back to Brett and Kyla for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. Well, Microsoft's making a deal with us. They're gonna try to fix gaming on the handhelds, specifically only for Xbox stuff, but they are redesigning their Xbox app for a compact mode to make it better for handhelds. And they're gonna work with companies like Asus and Lenovo to make it enabled by default so that when you boot up into the Xbox app, you get the good looking one that works on the handheld. It doesn't fix the rest of Windows or any of those other problems, like the fact that if you're playing Baldur's Gate 3 and you are using the gamepad, it has one UI, and then when you tap the screen, it switches to the other UI, and it's a nightmare. That's actually Larian Studios' fault. They can't do everything right. They can't do anything <laughs> right. Oh, you're talking about I'm Larian. I'm talking about Larian. I was talking about Microsoft, but you know who definitely isn't doing a whole lot right right now? Susan Wojcicki. I don't know what she's up to right now. Exactly, which she's probably just chilling. Okay, well, another CEO of GM has announced that Cruise, their driverless tech company that's been driving and, you know, running into people and doing some dragging, unsafe stuff. Dragging women and children down the street. Uh, only one person was drunk. I know what that sounds like, but it, it's, it's bad no matter which way you yeah, slice yeah, yeah. it. They're cutting that by hundreds of millions of dollars. They're likely gonna have to lay off most of the staff. 4,000 people are employed at Cruise. This is on top of the fact that the CEO and co-founder resigned a few weeks ago, probably in the wake of all of these federal scandals that are coming out with them actually ignoring safety and doing things, at least in the eyes of the law, poorly. So. Yeah. Uh, hundreds of millions of dollars that was invested. We'll see if there's ever any fruition that's coming out of that. But another major company that does have some fruition where they're putting money into things, Google putting money into Canada. Why? So there was a bill that passed a few months ago called C-18 where Canada essentially made it that Google had to pay news publications directly if they were publishing the links of the news that they were providing. And Google was like, okay, you're asking for way too much money. We can comply with this, but you're being ridiculous because Canada was asking for around $172 million. That's what they wanted. And Google said no. So they stopped providing Canadian links, which probably hurt a lot of Canadian websites. But now Canada and Google have reached an agreement where Google will pay $100 million, which is what they think is fair. So things are moving forward. Okay. Yeah, they're paying the money. Canada shook down Google. A little bit, a <laughs> little bit. And Netflix is trying to shake you down, especially if you want to role play in Grand Theft Auto because you can now play GTA Trilogy December 14th. I, this it's confused two weeks. me a lot. I said now, sorry. I yeah, know, I said now that. and it's in it's in two weeks on the 14th. That's my bad. Maybe just clarify. What, what are you confused about? One of you guys said it earlier. It was like Grand Theft Auto's on Netflix. I was like, what do you mean? So Netflix <laughs> is really trying to get into the handheld gaming market. That's yeah. the next area that they think they can grow revenue into. Hades coming to Netflix. Then there's also, I think Dead Cells is part of Netflix. But the way it works is that originally it was in the Android app, but only in certain countries. Now it's being rolled out everywhere where you play games in the Netflix app. And so the Netflix app will now host the GTA trilogy of GTA 3, San Andreas and Vice City so that you log in to your Netflix app and you play the games mm -hmm. on your phone. So are they playing locally? I believe so. Yes, it's not a cloud streaming situation. I don't know, it just seems dumb. I've always <laughs> I've always seen Netflix doing this. Like I've seen the Stranger Things games that they've made and everything that have been available on Netflix's service. I just can't be bothered. Whatever. Just if I wanted to play GTA 3, I would spend $2 on the App Store. Game. Well, it will be available as a standalone app if you want. Net, but now it's part of your Netflix subscription. Well, yeah, it's always been a standalone app though. Has it not? Yeah, but now it's part of your Netflix subscription. Do you have Netflix? Not anymore. Oh, because you're waiting for Stranger Things. <laughs> no, because I got kicked off my mom's account because they forced me off of it. 
<laughs> well, speaking of uh, media consumption that you have to pay for, Spotify Wrapped is here. Oh, I'm all wrapped up, baby. I, I kind of want to hear if you use Spotify and you have Spotify Wrapped, why don't you drop your top song, top band, top genre down below. We'd love to hear that. This is not a surprise to anybody who actually knows me. So my top genres are pop punk, progressive, post-hardcore, modern rock, metalcore, and roots worship. So what'd you get? Do you remember? I got... Uh, phone call from Post Malone. Oh, I guess we could ask people. Your Spotify astrological sign. I'm a hypnotist. My concentration is absolute, friend. You like to play albums all the way through from the opening track to the final note. Let us know what you got. Love to hear that. And Apple got a sweetheart deal with Arm. Turns out we got some new numbers coming out about Arm and how much money Apple actually pays them. And it is less than everybody else, even though they sell more chips. So Apple, all of the chips that they make have an Arm licensing agreement with them. And it turns out they have the lowest royalty rate among Arm smartphone chip customers. Apple accounts for less than 5% of Arm sales, around half of what Qualcomm and MediaTek pay, despite the fact that Apple that puts ARM in everything. It's wild. And this is part of the multi-decade deal that Apple has with ARM where they get this type of numbers with them. And Apple is looking at potentially not having ARM and moving on to their own thing where they're actually using their own ISA and figuring out how to make their own chips. But they're paying ARM less than 30 cents per chip. The deal of the century. When did they make this deal? Years how ago. How did they make this deal? Forever ago. ARM wasn't as big of a deal until mobile phones actually started using them quite heavily. Seems predatory at this point. Well, now that they're successful, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it's it's like those stories that come out of, like, this, this graphic designer only got paid five bucks to make this logo. But it's back when, like, the company had no real prospects, was an inch from bankruptcy, and was gonna die, but they needed a logo, so mm -hmm. they paid that person nothing. And then now that they're a multi-billion dollar entity, it's like, oh, that's not fair. It's like, well, who knows? But what's not gonna be fair is the future of CPUs. Bad segue. Terrible. Because there's a third company that's been involved in this. This is actually part of the domestication efforts that China has had to try to get away from Western chip production. And Lungsong has been in the chip game for a little while, but the latest update is massive. This is actually game changing for how things are gonna move forward. So their latest chip, the 3A6000, has only four cores and it runs at 2.5 gigahertz, but it comes with support by Asus. It is the first Asus motherboard de developed for this Chinese platform. So they have one of the largest supporting companies on their side to help make this a success. That's a very big deal. Additionally, they showed their benchmarks, 32% better in single core performance than last year, 84% better performance in multi-core, and it actually ends up tying with an i3-10100 in multi-core performance, which is incredible. Here's the other kicker. If you lock down the frequency of the i5-14600K, they perform identical if you get it to run at 2.5 gigahertz. So it turns out the IPC instructions per clock, at least in the benchmarks that they tested out, this Chinese chip is competing with AMD and Intel, but it has a few growing pains that needs to work out, kind of like Intel does on the GPU side. Mm -hmm. It needs to figure out how to get faster clock speed. It runs at 2.5 gigahertz by default, and they put it under liquid nitrogen, and it got to three gigahertz. So it's not it's not an incredibly fast chip. It needs a lot more working to get the higher end stuff going, but at least as far as where it is right now, these are some massive developments that are happening on this side and could potentially spell big trouble in a decade for Intel and AMD that they have a major competitor on this side, on the CPU front. I wanna keep an eye on it. I wanna uh, see where it goes. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I wanna, I'm gonna do that. Uh. And we'll, we'll keep you updated here on Hot News. And you guys update us with your thoughts and comments. So let's talk about comments from yesterday. BC Linux says, I would love to see an APU with Vcash. Me too. I want that desperately. That would be amazing. I would like to see cash, if you know what I'm saying. 7600 <laughs> GX3D, that'd be cool. I'd love to have that chip. 250 bucks has an integrated GPU as well as 3D V cache. And you can make the tiniest little dag dagon thing, little thing, a little dag. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Kevin's Guide says, I've seen so many tech articles and videos covering the Plex thing, but no one tells you how to actually opt out. I think it's. <laughs> Profile, edit profile, settings at bottom, privacy settings. Thank you, Kevin's Guides, for guiding us on how to do that. 
We appreciate it. Username checks out. It does, it does. Jimmy says, I gotta agree with Kyler on this one though. I too could never be a fan of gaming over any kind of network where the game I'm running is not running on my local device. Input lag would drive me absolutely crazy, especially knowing how the experience is not over a network. Biggest reason I never buy a portal if I had a PS5 and I feel like cloud gaming is just potentially worse as you're going a further distance than connecting to a PS5 in the living room. I mean, it's cool, it works. Clearly some people love both cloud gaming and the portal, but even as a casual PC gamer, I could never do it. That's not what Kyler was saying. Kyler was saying until the portal he didn't know and now he does <laughs> it is kind of what i was saying like i would see articles about geforce now and i would go oh cool <laughs> It's gone. That I wouldn't think about it, which I'm I'm sure is how a lot of people think of the portal, and they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I also love this. Z Shrink says, as someone who started with the Samsung, who then swapped to the Pixel for several generations, who then wanted to try Samsung again, who literally just got the Pixel 8 Pro before Thanksgiving, I'm upset with myself and I want to go back to Samsung. I won't because I don't have that kind of money, but I found it to be a less frustrating experience both in hardware and in UX UI. So I'm going to stick with the Pixel and hope for the best. Really? I need more details. What about the Samsung experience is better on the UX and UI? Because when I saw the Flip 5, I was like, no, they're still the same Samsung bull crap I don't like to engage in. And then when we had the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro, I was like, hey, that's pretty good. There's nothing here. I love it. So I'm curious to hear what's the reason. I got this one though. Die a Handyman says, mm -hmm. I noticed Kyler has two jobs, mm -hmm. but not every day. Just the days where he wears the black hat. It must be tough. Exactly how far is your studio from his Alaskan King Crab fishing boat stock? Hope I made you guys smile. Love the channel and thank you for the help you guys give all of us. I don't get this joke. I don't understand it. I look like an Alaskan fisherman. I look like a character from Deadliest Catch, is what he's saying. I ain't seen no beanies. Search cold weather fisherman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check. I, I, like this beanie. one? It's the beanie. Uh, That's... Uh, okay. I think I think it's a trope with the, the toques, as some people call it. It's what the Canadians call them. Mm. I thought it was pronounced. You made me confused, not smiley. I'm sorry. I also, smiled. good. At least one of us. And let's talk about a comment from not yesterday's episode, but the previous one, but it came in after the previous. Uh, I wanted to talk about this. I, I responded to this one saying, why does every title sound the same? AMD, Intel, NVIDIA does something good slash bad, LOL. And I know that that is how our hot news is are titled. I don't like it, but here's the thing. I'm running a business. And what happens if I ever deviate from that? If I try to experiment and find a new way to title the videos, they get significantly less views to the tune of 40 to sometimes 50% fewer views. It is absolutely frustrating that we are not able to successfully escape this like AMD, Intel, Nvidia thing that I've been stuck in for half a decade. I've been doing this for five years. I've tried so many times to like make the title thumbnail about something else. Turns out I'm really bad at it. People don't wanna watch. We get more views. If we talk about Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA in the title and thumbnail, I can't change that. I just can't. Were they I'm AMD, trying. The Intel, NVIDIA people, but also the shills. Yes. Were the haters. Yes. And the shills again. Yep. For mm -hmm. all of them. Yep. And PlayStation now, too. From Sony. I hear you. I wish I could change it, but this is a business. And I will continue to try to make the best content that I can. How it's packaged is actually decided by you guys, what you click on. The viewers get to determine that, not me. Why would I make a video that I want fewer people to watch? I don't have a reason to do that. If I make a video, I want the most possible people to watch it. It's not your fault, except it is. All right, well, we'll be back with more of the hottest tech news tomorrow, I think. Hopefully. I'm not sure. Well, on Friday, we're gonna be giving this thing away. So that'll be nice. Ooh, call back, call back. Yep, I didn't forget because I left them all here. Tomorrow, Steam Deck. Do you, you want have one? four Steam Decks? Come on. You can have one. Come on, let's go. I, I do Give like me. the original LCD. I do, I like this transparent back situation that's going on.